Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Graven. I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to bring you another episode of Arcane from League of Legends. I was really kind of getting eh on the first episode just because it had been hyped to me so many times by different random people. But I gotta say episode two is much, much better because I went in without thinking about what anybody said. I just took it for what it was. I didn't like... I wasn't expecting anything. I don't know if that makes sense. And it's important, I think, to go into shows and things not expecting things right because this is a new creation and you've got to like give it its own chance obviously there's stuff to be said about adaptions right because this is the adaption of the league of legends video game kind of you know eh, up and down but regardless i really enjoyed it last time i'm super excited to learn more about vi and powder's future as well as this random mysterious villain and of course jace caitlin and all the other people that they've really sprinkled in very well in the show it's really been done well in that aspect so far uh victor i think last episode really made it for me because i really liked his character before i knew he was victor who i enjoy as a character like i said i think the only thing missing for me is if they can get a zill. I know they probably won't because he's not even really a very popular character in my opinion um, most of the time in League, but I'd love to see Zillion. That's my character I like to play. So if he's in here, it's just going to be a 10 out of 10 for me on the bias factor. But regardless, it's actually still already really good. I'm excited to watch more of it, and I hope you guys are excited to watch more of it with us. Uh, remember to support the original content creator because if we don't support Rag, actually they have enough money, they can do whatever they want now. So do what you want to do. But, I, you know. I'd always thought that they did very well on their production stuff, right? Whenever they make videos and releases and stuff like that, either for Worlds or YouTube videos or promotionals, it's really high quality, it looks good, and they really have seemed, or they seem to have, brought that level of animation to a full uh, television series, right? And I guess not television, it's a stream series, but you get my point. In any case, we're going to start episode three. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you want to watch with us, you can check us out every Sunday on Twitch tv dot uh, 3d reactions with an x you know this season x yeah get the point we'll put the links down below you can come check out our discord the same way check us out on youtube if you aren't able to although unfortunately that has some cuts and overlays and finally shout out to the patrons who for as low as a dollar a month get early access to all this stuff without all the crazy edits we have to do on youtube but now that i got the dumb spiel out of the way let's go oh that didn't work well and I guess it was all right it just it was weird all right oh this song again or is it just gonna be that background oh no this isn't the one I thought it was or no is this the one from the first episode where it's little Damn it, it put his name, Silco. I don't know his name yet. Subtitles? Sometimes you fuck up, subtitles, I'm telling you. There's peace in water. Life is holding you. Whispering in low tones to let it in. This is nice. And every problem in the world will fade away. That's some good dialogue there, by the way. Real good, real good. I didn't notice this is I got in and it's just closed over the the missing I'm guessing it's gonna be um what's his name and he's probably like a former Piltover thing I guess that's just from what it, we see there because I think that's gonna be yeah oh no maybe it's maybe he was from the the lanes and but I, that looked like uh what's his name Vander I can't remember long time or ever is a question Alright, that was a nice switch, but I think it kind of pulled off for me from the weight of it. What's happening? Is it gonna be for not? No, someone's attacking. It's that experiment. Oh, and he killed one of the guards, so they're in trouble. Now that's not gonna be enough. Her? Really? I didn't expect her to die so soon. That's a good. Yep. They have him. They need to keep him alive. The it, it sucks to say. Uh, of course, it's that 
you know, whatever his name was, Serbler. But, yeah. I guess those cuffs are enough. I'm not, uh, it's gonna be sad. I'm not, they didn't build them enough for me. I mean, rough though. Or are they gonna blame it on him? Or they're taking him. Okay, that's good. I thought I thought they were gonna just kill him here for a second, and that would have been like, eh, for me. But what now, man? Yeah, that's rough. But that's not you, her. That's actually his sins from his past. It looks like coming back, or his goodness, but still. Now he goes to Zwan? All right. I saw everything. Of course he did. But Poor dude. So. They... Is that the kid from um, the Dion show? They took him. Oh, she couldn't see. She could only hear. Okay. Where? He didn't fall. Did he follow? Damn, Echo. You the realist, bro. I'm gonna be honest, that's some real shit. So wait, is Vander gonna become somebody? That blade looks familiar, but I don't remember who. I'm telling you that look reminds me so much of Mundo or somebody, but I'm not sure what a doll is about. Oh her. Revenge must be had in that case. <laughs> P-R-D-R. Professor, not doctor. Okay. I don't have a feeling this isn't going to go well. So far, so good. Hmm. Willing to risk exile for your endeavor. That's quite the conviction. A counselor. Wait a minute, uh, it's in the bedroom. See you, huh? could I have... Please. We can prove that <laughs> I like that. You Wait a minute. So this is this isn't is my bedroom. We've... We're not doing this alone, Vi. It's our father too. Now that I feel. Don't you know where they took him? Because they've Remember made the character him? connection with her, right? The they make you care him. about her said... through mistakes and convictions and changes. What did she just snatch there? I totally I missed that. This one out, powder. What? She's too young, yeah. He's our father too. Don't you know where they took him? Echo followed them. The old cannery next She to grabbed one of the gauntlets? Or both? Oh no, she grabbed it. Okay, I thought that was something powder grabbed. Oh, so now she figured it out, huh? She's gonna go cause some trouble. Probably could. It doesn't mean it's a necessarily good idea. It's like an up and down there. I think they're all a little too young for this. They're right on the edge. They really are right on the edge of like, especially in that kind of situation. They got him, didn't they? It was like a boom, boom. That reminds me of, uh, because it was a pullback in, almost kind of like, uh, and a freeze, kind of like Victor's trap. Oh, no, 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 no. You guys don't have, in this situation, you should have already had your, um, basically your weapon at the ready. Those gauntlets should be on her fist. Oh, no, she's trying to give them to him. What are you doing here? We're breaking you out. Milo. On it. Now this is where you need Milo. Remember. How, how did you get in? Oh, there's guards everywhere. It was easy. We found an open window and... Oh, God. No. You have to get out. Now. You didn't go through the... You didn't go through the absolutely open... No. You always scope. They went right in, didn't they? Oof. I probably would have too in that situation, I'm not gonna lie.
He's one of those ones where I think he's used for a... Mm-hmm. Knockout. I like how they're showing how her weapon is an effective tool, both at defense and offense. No, no, no. Take a breath. You can do this. Not bad. Goodbye. I was I, I knew she would get the first dude. I wasn't sure if she'd get all of them because there's a lot of them and she is still young, right? But I knew she was going to rock that. Oh, he's ready to take this. Oh, no. Don't tell me she actually messes things up when they were going to handle it. I don't think so. They, I still think they're, they got to deal with the monsters. Right now, they're trying to make it look... Yeah, there it comes. You gonna make Decker do it? Let it arise to the surface. Oh, now he likes it, huh? I'm telling you, he definitely seems like he's gonna maybe be a Mundo character with the way they're pushing it. Not Mundo himself, just esque. That would actually be real f scary and traumatic. Shoot one of those balls in his mouth. Go, Powder. Kill his ass. Uh, she's already beat the fuck up. No, 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 girl. That's not an offensive fight. That's cool. Knew that was coming. You can do this. Aww. That's cute. You know they're building her up so later when she's a real heel, it's all like, oh, it's understandable. <laughs> I'll still root for her. Ooh. Oh, wow, look at him. <laughs> oh, look, it's on its neck. So the, so the thing's gonna smack it and it's gonna go bing. Look, it's got little nails. Oh no, what's gonna happen? Damn, to her too, huh? That thing is strong. Wow, she's a good employee. And she lost her arm right there, you saw it blow off. Good, uh, good art. See, it's not, oh, that guy. Does everybody just get fucked up from this? Damn, he's still just chilling there. The metal fragments are gonna mess up Vander, right? Or somebody, something's gonna happen. Oh, it went in there. Oh no. Did it kill both Milo and... Yes, it did. That's un... Wow. They really went hard. Yeah, those two, those other two kids are dead dead. He took a, a thing through the chest and then rocks to the head, yeah. The other kid, I couldn't really tell what happened to him. He got hit by, like, rock or and then got hit by the roof. They really went hard. Nice. Uh, she's alive, but he probably thinks she's dead. He's fine. He's fucking made of purple shit, you know. I don't think anything can hurt him. He doesn't even really look phased. She's missing the left side of her arm, but she's got something on the right. I don't know. Those look like they have blades. They remind me of something, but I can't remember what exactly. This is a good episode. Well, now he's close enough that you could... Oh, now you tried to kill him before. Didn't finish him. 
Nope, and then comes the monster. Yep, the knife. Here comes Vander, maybe? Yep, there's Mundo. Now what you gonna do, buddy? Old buddy, old pal? He's gonna save her. He's still a good person, it looks like. Maybe not Mundo, then. Damn, that was a wild one. I was wondering how those two kids were gonna go out of the picture, because they're not around in the, the later story as a major character, unlike half the other people we've met, so something had to happen to him. That was sad, though. That was good. Well done. Why? Why did you do this? I, d I didn't. You did. I'm saving me. No. Nope. My only wanted to help. My only wanted to help. You should listen. There goes her. Oh, I thought she was grabbing the glasses because that's part of her attire. It was a part of her attire. But she you couldn't listen. I know she's a kid, but <laughs> she lives in the streets. You learn that shit earlier, you die. You know what I mean? Or get everybody killed. That's the unfortunate truth. Sad one. Damn, so you jumped right into the arms of the dude who just killed your fucking dad? Yeah, very not likable for me. Yeah, after you killed your brother, you know, your two brothers, and got your dad killed, then go and live with the enemy homie, you basically are just a piece of shit in my book, no matter what age you were. Seven, eight, whatever. Go fuck it. Sorry. I'm sure I'm gonna get a lot of hot takes. She was young, she was... Dude, people have gotta stop giving that excuse for like childhood being the good excuse for everything it's like oh they killed somebody they were just children i ain't everybody f killed anybody as a kid not once damn to imagine that shit i knew some people's fucked up situations didn't kill people's kids man ah uh, but hey <laughs> yeah that one just totally loses my like sympathy for vi or uh powder for like the rest of the series i was already kind of like eh because she really did get them all killed that's 100 percent her fault now maybe they would have died either way but they definitely died because of what she did uh and someone told me that i was gonna really like the music on this uh no i don't like the comps the songs individually are fine all together there's no sense of unity or movement for me okay um are we gonna do a really sad okay thank god all right i was like please don't make me watch uh however many minutes of whatever's going on there you know what i mean it was good though it's still a very very good episode uh and i enjoyed the episode itself i love all the things going on the writing is well done and the the character progressions made sense and once again you knew those kids weren't gonna stick around i didn't think some of the people who died would die the way they did necessarily uh, i didn't think they'd kill vander and the kids but yeah you know it is what it is and especially with the whole silco run i've been expecting some bigger villains and stuff but at least we still got the whole 
hex tech thing although that kind of funny enough that was a bigger part for me in two and then trailed off and then this one i was finally invested because vi was making good choices etc and then uh, obviously, uh, Vander's past kind of fucked that up because at the end of the day, that they're there because of Vander trying to kill Silco, and I have no idea why he tried to kill Silco, and neither do we. So, or at this point, you know, they have not yet told us why, and I don't really, meh. Although I think it does come back to a more important non-moral point that I've always made, which is finish killing the people that you murder, <laughs> try to murder, just. If you're gonna try to kill someone, finish it, or they will come back and get you later. <laughs> Seems to be a recurring theme out there, you know? People like to get you if you try to kill them. So if you're gonna do it, <laughs> that's not legal advice. Please ignore that that was a joke, okay? All seriousness, please ignore that that was a joke, okay? But uh, it was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I think I'm much more invested in the episodes, and um, I'm, in I'm not hyper focusing on it to be like uh, critical I'm just kind of watching and letting myself drift in and out of what I'm just thinking at the moment which I think is how you should watch a movie you shouldn't just sit there and over hyper analyze the entire thing because then you're just killing the fun of it for you with that said thank you guys so much for watching I really do appreciate it it is a very very fun time these Sundays on Twitch with you guys and of course if you wanted to catch us later you can always check us out on YouTube you can check out the Patreon where for as low as that dollar a month get that early access as well as you know access to all of our old shows full access no video cuts no audio cuts and even get a special section on our discord which is linked below and uh you know we try to do funny memes there we give out prizes sometimes we just do fun stuff but i'll see you guys next time on reactions with an x arcane i can't wait to see how now officially jinx i'm sure no longer powder and vi as story go on 